Hey guys, it's Mac with Maddox, here with another Transformer Tech Tip for you. Today, we're looking at voltage taps and tap changers. First, let's talk about why we need taps, common tap configurations, and how to use tap changers on your transformer. In a perfect world, transformers wouldn't need voltage taps, but sometimes the primary power feed into the transformer is higher or lower than intended. This can occur for a few reasons. Voltage drop across a long run of distribution power lines or excessive power consumption from one or more consumers in the network, which creates a dip in the supply voltage for other end users downstream. You can think of power lines much like a long extension cord in your house. The voltage at the outlet you plug the cord into is gonna be higher than the voltage at the end of the extension cord, since some voltage is lost in the distance between the two points. Power lines running miles between generation to distribution suffer from the same issue of voltage drop, which sometimes causes the transformer at the end of those lines to have a different input voltage than intended. Now these changes in the transformer's input voltage will also affect the output voltage. Slight increases or decreases in the output voltage may be acceptable, but large enough discrepancies can cause significant problems. Fortunately, there's a simple solution to this problem, voltage adjustment taps. Voltage adjustment taps allow users to make incremental adjustments to their transformer's input voltage by disengaging small sections of the primary windings, which alters the ratio of primary to secondary windings. Now, it's important to note that the tap should never be adjusted in the transformer when it's energized. Always ensure that the transformer is de-energized before changing taps. Let's look at one of the most common configuration of taps on transformers. Most distribution transformers are configured with five different tap positions. Two at two and a half percent increments above the nominal nameplate voltage, and another two below the nominal nameplate rating. On liquid-filled transformers, like this pad mount, you can adjust the taps with an external voltage adjustment device called a tap changer. Turning this device between the different positions will adjust the tap setting you're using. Now, many smaller 600 volt dry type transformers, like this unit right here, include seven taps instead of five. Two taps above, four taps below the nominal voltage rating. Again, with each position being two and a half percent apart. This allows for a supply voltage within 5% above and 10% below the nominal voltage rating. For dry type transformers like this, the taps can be manually adjusted at the windings by moving a jumper lead cable or a tap jumper between the tap connections. For both of these tap changing methods, ensure the transformer is de-energized before using the tap changer. If you're interested to learn more about voltage adjustment taps and tap changers, head on over to our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about transformers.